Hi, my name is Matea Novak and I'm a postdoc at Aalborg University. Today I'll be presenting a part of my project, which is how to use the AI methods to help us design and implement model predictive control algorithms for MPC converters. Power electronic converters are important components both in generation and conversion of electrical energy. They have to be able to respond to this ongoing trend of increasing power installation. That's why we will see more and more complex topologies, which have additional objectives that we have to consider in our control algorithms. This also means on the other side that the complexity of our control algorithms will also increase. What these control algorithms have in common is that they have a higher computational burden, and also they are missing some tools to help us tune them to achieve certain performance. One of those algorithms is a final set model predictive control. And in today's presentation, I'll be proposing two solutions to improve the weighting factor design optimization and to reduce the computational burden. So let's look first at AI-based weighting factor design optimization. The control objectives of MPC are typically structured in a shape of a cost function. So we have different objectives and each of them is paired with a weighting factor. The weighting factor defines how important each objective is. In the first step of this approach, we first use the simulation model and we put as inputs different weighting factors and record the performance matrix data. After that, we will use this data to obtain a neural network. So we will not need any more our simulation model, our ANN will execute much faster and it will give us for even more combinations what are the performance matrix data of our model. After that, we can define an optimization criteria in shape of a fitness function and find our optimum weighting factors. I can show now an example on an MPC converter. So we define the following fitness function with a, using the performance metrics and we will obtain the fitness function plot. The optimum weighting factors are shown here. We have checked then in the simulation model with our weighting factors and also we implemented them in our experimental setup and you can observe the results over here. What we can do now is to compare if the predicted metrics by ANN match the simulation model and the experiments. You can see that the difference in both experimental and simulation is quite low. So we have a quite good accuracy of our neural network. The second approach I'd like to present in this presentation is how to synthesize a controller by using imitation learning. So we have the problem with MPC when we go for multi-level converters or when we extend the prediction horizon that our computational burden will grow exponentially. We can see in this case an example using a two-step horizon where we start first with 27 different switching vectors and we end up with 729 switching combinations. So our goal now is to find a way how to minimize this computational burden but not lose a lot on the performance. And the solution I propose here is to use a shallow neural network which can execute much faster than the original final set MPC. To do that, we follow the traditional flow on neural networks training. So we start with data generation. In this case, we use the final set MPC algorithm or we can also use the simulation model. We put the input data the same as the input data that also the MPC algorithm would receive. And then we calculate the output data. We proceed with the data pre-processing and we finally train the neural network in the final step. Here I can show the comparison of the original two-step MPC and the trained neural network. We can observe the load voltages and the deceiling voltages. Regarding the performance, we have a quite good match. But when we come to the point of implementing these algorithms in a DSP, we notice that it's not possible to implement the two-step MPC without overruns. While for the neural network, this was possible. On this slide, we can observe the experimental validation of our ANN controller, which is applied to a three-level MPC working in a standalone mode. We can see that our deceiling voltages is balanced and that the load voltage has a low harmonic distortion. We can also observe that the neural network controller inherited the fast transient response of the MPC controller. 
In conclusion, we can say that the neural networks help us solve two problems which are limiting the industrial applications of MPC. One is the design of the weighting factors and the other is the high computational burden. More information about the research project can be found in the following publications. I thank you for your attention.